Hi! In today's video, I'm going to be showing five different 70s inspired outfits. The key word is inspired here. These aren't literal clothes from the 70s, but I did take inspiration from the decade. With this first look, I noticed there was a lot of denim, specifically denim jumpsuits in the 70s when I was checking out reference photos. But because I don't have a denim jumpsuit, I decided to go with a denim dress instead. This denim dress has really nice buttons down the front. I also felt like that felt 70s. And another trend that I noticed was wearing shirts, particularly turtlenecks and mock necks, underneath either like overalls or a dress like this. And then for shoes, I just finished off with these chunky brown wedge boots. So for the next look, I wanted to include a pair of flared pants, since that's very 70s. I don't have any flared jeans, but I do have these patterned pants that I paired with a matching blue scarf that I tied around to function as a top. Also went with some Birkenstocks for shoes. I feel like those are classic hippie shoes and this whole vibe just gives me very relaxed peace and love festival and I like that the color story is all blue and white. But I think the third look is the most obviously hippie. I have this dress that has flares on the sleeves. And also, this is a wrap dress, which was definitely in style in the 70s. So it's got this lace all over it, this little side train, and it ties around the waist. I paired it with some long necklaces, as well as a chain around my forehead, just to really give that hippie look over the top. I feel like if I was in the 70s, maybe I'd get married in something like this, honestly. And then for shoes, just some basic tan sandals that give me a bohemian vibe. For this next outfit, I don't really feel like all black is particularly 70s, but the overall silhouette and style of the pieces, like this zipper detail and the collar on this little black shirt, I think is very 70s inspired, as well as the slight A-line skirt paired with the knee-high boots. I definitely feel like that boot and skirt pairing was popular in the 70s. And I feel like the all black makes it a little bit more modern. It doesn't come off as a super vintage outfit, but I really like the look of this one. This last look is probably the least obviously 70s and the most casual. I wanted to do a basic t-shirt and shorts look, which obviously people did wear in the 70s. I kind of was inspired by hot pants with these really short, kind of like flat square shorts. I don't know how else to describe them. As well as the ringer style t-shirt with the little stripes on it is pretty timeless but definitely was in the 70s as well and then of course converse tennis shoes i feel have no expiration date so those were all of the looks for today let me know which one you liked the best and thanks for watching